Hello and welcome to a new adventure and today we're down in Sheffield and just behind me you can see Sheffield City Station and today we're going to be visiting a set of tunnels directly underneath Sheffield Station Now as you can see down there the whole city is built in a valley pretty much like most Yorkshire towns or cities and the station is right down there in the middle of that valley and the reason they had to build the station there was because the town had already pretty much developed around it and the only place they could put it was right down there and on top of two water courses now we're heading down there now because we're going to go underneath the station and into those water courses now you may have also heard of this before because it is known as the Megatron as you're going to see when we get below the station there's a lot of big cavernous culverts and tunnels underneath there built in the Victorian era now I apologize if there's a bit of a wind noise on the camera today because I've had to bring my waterproof camera for obvious reasons and I can't bring an external microphone because they're not waterproof so hopefully you can hear me okay and you don't get too much noise in the background So here we are at platform 5A at Sheffield station. These wooden planks here is the access down into the culverts. So later on you will see us in the video looking up at these wooden slats here. It's weird to think if you look down those gaps there there is a sheer drop down into the tunnels. But I've just had a look down you can hear noises but I can't actually see anything. I wonder if they go directly into the culvert as an outlet. You can see everybody staring at me through the station, wondering why I'm carrying a bag of waders. So here we are at a remote park in the middle of Sheffield, and this is our entry point into the culverts as you can see behind me over here. So we're gonna step down into the brook here and head onwards through the tunnel to meet the main river further down. <laughs> right, stick to the edge. It looks very shallow here, but there's a deep channel in the middle, as I just found out. As you can see, the water levels are very low. This was the reason we came today in the middle of a dry summer. The first example of an old bridge over the brook, encapsulated within the culvert these days, but probably dates much further back than the culverts. This is known as Furnival Street on the old maps. This is a short section of open space between some former mills and Shoreham Street. I've got a feeling we're going to have to do a big crouch now. Under here, this could be back breaking for the next few hundred yards. You can see the deep channel in the centre again. We're trying our best to avoid this as we don't know the depth. Turns out it wasn't that deep here. It's also been silted up with rocks and provided a little respite for the taller members of the group. Here you can see one of the many water sources joining the brook. This could be another small water course, a road drainage system, or even a sewer overflow for higher water levels. Time for a short breather and to stretch our backs again before the next section. God, that was back breaking. <laughs> Tell you what, crouching in there for like 
20 minutes to come through. Whew. I mean, thank God I'm short. You what? No. I had a camera and a torch, so I couldn't stabilise and stuff. I'll tell you what, back breaking, but thank God we're out. And I thank God I'm short as well, because if I'd have been as tall as some of these, I'd have been struggling through there. But anyway, we're about to head underneath Sheffield Station now, or in a minute. Probably can't see me now. Professional lighting, look at that. Lighting by Roy. So straight through these, you've got either side, left or right, towards the river down there. That's right. So you can see here we've got a much more modern concrete affair heading towards the station down there. And when we get to the end of here, there's going to be a T-junction where it meets the River Sheaf. And you can see straight up there to what looks like the outside of Sheffield Station. It's not the actual station, I don't think. But you can see the uh, access down there. But we're not actually that deep here. This is the concrete tunnel anyway, or shockcrete on the roof. So we've reached the River Sheaf, which is the junction underneath Sheffield Station. It's directly above us. We've just come down the brook, and now we've got a choice whether to go left or right up the river. So there's the uh, station. Here you can see. Platform 5 of Sheffield Station, people walking above, hearing noises below, that's got to be so weird. Oh wow. So we're heading directly underneath Sheffield Station now. And as you can see, we've got a little ramp to contend with. I'm going to put this torch down. So this is where I end up on my ass down there. Some random bricked up doorway there at the side. Probably a sewer outlet, no doubt. So you can see here the dividing line <laughs> where it just drops into an abyss down there. See Roy up now. So we're going to go down the uh, left hand one out of the three because as you can see that one is very deep down there. So we're heading down this way now, we're going to bypass it anyway. Some random pipe. Let's have a look up. Ignore the spider. Yeah look, doesn't really go anywhere, it's blocked off. It's probably a drain outlet, yeah, with a spider there, too. Probably a drain outlet from the road above. Now just look at the amazing stonework down here. This would date back to the 1860s, or even earlier than that. So as you can see, this part of the, uh, under the station here, is the original section under the station. You can tell by the stonework here, and how intricate it is. It's just seems to go on forever and ever down there and you've got three arches like I said there's one on the left over here and then one on the right there as well we've chose the less steep one in the middle it's just some random big pipe looks like a water main heading through the floor here in the tunnel. I don't know if it's just dropped there, if it actually is in use. Yeah, you can see it through the other one as well there. You can see the pipe. So it must be in use, that. It must yeah. run through the whole width of the tunnel.
Don't get the LR80 out because it's basically a spot and it wipes whatever it touches, it wipes it bit. Bricked up archway in the wall here. Again, still under Pond's Forge or thereabouts. Yeah, some weird. There's a couple actually. There's another one just down there. Just found a little shaft here. Not quite to the station yet because the station's behind us, so that's probably Pond's Forge above there. I know the swimming pool is just above our heads somewhere. That's so probably just a grate on the street side, maybe. Again, you can see an old road bridge there above, just sort of entwined in amongst these more modern caverns here, culverts. So here we are, we've reached the uh, large chamber. I've got to watch where I'm walking because we're back in the deep water again. Just look at the size of this one now, it's getting a lot wider. So as you can see, we're probably three times wider than we were before because we had three arches now we've got a single one and just down there ahead it's coming up we've got the Megatron just down there hopefully we're going to see that right here we go this is the start of the Megatron you can see not only does it get wider but it gets taller and the water gets deeper as well not too bad just look at that. It is like a cathedral chamber here. That is massive. It's hard to get it on the camera, but that is huge. And it gets wider and taller. So we've reached as far as we can go this way. Uh, it's just getting deeper now. The river gets wider and much deeper here. I'm already up to my thighs here, but I'll just turn you around and show you. So if I zoom in for you down there, that is the end where it then darts underneath the bridge on the outside and then it joins the uh, River Don just beyond there. But that is as far as you can get down. Fortunately, this no. section here at the end is the most cavernous section and apparently the most picturesque. However, this is the tallest section known as the Megatron. The rest of the group is up there. So you can see the various sections here. So you've obviously got the brick section there, which is built to strengthen the road above. And then you've got a stone section here. And then an old bridge there, an old stone bridge by the looks of it. So it's weird to see just in this section alone, three different types of support here, bricks, stone, and older stone there. So we just stood in the darkness, appreciating the uh, architecture in here and uh, there's another tour coming down just up ahead this is an official tour by the looks of it they've all got headlights on but you can just see them there at the far side heading down towards us this is so surreal being so far down here you feel so isolated down here and then to see another tour group heading the opposite way so this is the way back we're going up the middle channel again because it was a bit drier than the other two and uh, the other lot are just behind us making their way up so they had a dinghy up down there and they've just deflated it they've been sailing around Pat Dickinson there I'm sure you all know who that is another youtuber another blocked up one there you can see the three separate channels here as it heads under Pond's Forge but you can feel the heat as soon as we get to the outside because it's so cool in here it's about 16 17 degrees in here and then we come out and it's in the 20s you can feel it big outfall over there probably a sewage overflow again Ooh. here we are back at the weir and then we're going to head back underneath Sheffield City Station just there. Definitely a sewage overflow up there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the benefit. Yeah, be quiet. There's only one person talking, John. Just rise above it. So, this graffiti here was apparently written by. KLF founder Bill Drummond 
you know who KLF are from the 90s and it says is the river really beautiful or is it just the gradient of the land We've uh, headed out of the main bulk of the tunnels now behind us. So you've got the uh, station behind us now. And we're heading through this little clearing and we're about to go back in for the last stretch to where we, we got in earlier on. This is the backbreaking one at the start of the video. So we've got a hunch over quite a few hundred yards out. So I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Roy's, on the, Roy's on the prowl. <laughs> I love it. So as you can see here, we're right in the middle of Sheffield city centre. So if you know Sheffield, you'll recognise this building here. And you've got the spa there. So we found an easy way out. So we've avoided the backbreaking tunnel just there. We've dipped out a bit early. And we're all heading over this fence here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.